little demo. So for example, here's like my main clean sound. <laughs> That's like my main crunch sound. It's basically channel two of the JP2C with the EQ one, and that's like my drive. <laughs> mimic pedal doing that split we talked about you can always kick on the overdrive if you want more juice and then crunch two is usually uh I'll use the chorus block and the, the um, Axe Effects to do that 2290 thing. This is great for big, let's say the chorus of uh, the alien. You Um, I have a couple different delay times. Lead one is usually the main one I'll use for like a more of a soaring solo. You can hear like the delays are really rich and long. So like maybe a... Uh, something like maybe the middle part of that song, I'd use more of the short delay. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, of course, I could turn other effects on. Uh, it's maybe a C2 pedal. Um. <laughs> actually in Canada Tuscany of course the swells preset is one of my favorites this is awesome So now going down to the pedal board, on the left, that's an Ernie Ball volume pedal. Of course, it's all tricked out with diamond plate to look cool. Um, it is acting as a controller for an expression pedal for the volume block in the Axe FX. Um, over to the right, the uh, 
JP95 Wah controller. That's controlling my signature Wah that's in the rack. And then a TC Electronic Polytune 2 Black, because black is cool. And then, of course, the real star of the show is the RJM Music Mastermind GT. This is, in my opinion, the best MIDI foot controller you can get. This thing is like ridiculous. Basically, it will do whatever you want it to do. Um, it will change amp channels. It will do preset changes, program changes, control functions. Um, you could label songs. You could label any button, whatever you want. You could change the color of any button. Basically, there hasn't been anything that I've tried to do or wanted to do that this thing couldn't do for me. Um, built like a tank, roadworthy, everything. And uh, it's amazing. There's even an online or a, a desktop editor and you can save things via USB. It's a great, great unit. And another thing people ask me all the time is how I'm switching patches during the show. And uh, I do have the ability to switch myself here in real time or turn things on and off as I wish. Um, but what we're doing is um, the MIDI program changes are coming from a laptop off stage as the show is running. So basically I can be anywhere on the stage and then this will switch at the right moment to the right sound. And that really frees me up, especially with the wireless that I'm using as well. So that's how that's happening. Um, and of course, if I wanted to change something and override, I can do that in real time. You'll see another two things. You see monitors. Um, I do use in-ear monitors to monitor the show. So you're what you might be wondering, why do I have wedges? And the reason is, is um, there's no guitar cabinets on stage. So I don't have the connection with the cabinet in order to get feedback or have the thud of the amp. So I have guitar cranking out of these monitors and that gives me that connection, even though I have the in-ears. Um, here we got the mic stand. It's an SE V7. I got my picks here with the pick clip and the mic stand is mounted to this pedal board that's called a mod stand, and that's manufactured by uh, Dozer Metalworks. Um, same guy who actually makes James's mic stands. So that's a cool thing. And that eliminates the, uh, you know, having some kind of flimsy mic stand uh, on a tripod or whatever you're gonna do. The first so, thing that people ask me about a lot are these things right over here. Uh, these are basically heavy metal footrests and uh, they weigh a ton. They were made by our friend Patrick Slats from Holland. I know Maddie really looks forward to setting these up every day. <laughs> anyway, the idea behind them is this. When I practice the guitar, I practice uh, classical style. So I sit down, the guitar is on my left leg, my right arm is in front of my body and the neck is up. So I can kind of emulate that standing by doing a rock pose number 27 but it's a little bit more comfortable using knees so basically there's just these are standing footrests so if i put my foot on here you'll see me do that a lot during the show suddenly the guitar swings over to the left it's as if i'm sitting down classical style and i can use proper technique